Okay, so this is the clock controller I made. I can't really show um, it being used because, uh, well, I deleted the game. So, but basically, um, and I won't really be showing like, you know, Lego for Lego, how you make it. Uh, you just need to know the, the basic structure. So um, basically on the sides, I'll link this um, of the YouTube video that I took inspiration from the Legos. And um, basically, <clears throat> you need this right part because this is the lever that you're going to press. And then it attaches to this part, and you need this part because if you try to just attach it to this one, it when this thing goes back, it'll get stuck. <laughs> so you need that part um, to pull this back, or sorry, sorry, eh, pull this back to make this part go forward. And then um, you know you need to attach it to this long piece somehow. So here I'll take this off. Um, what I did was. I had this, oh my gosh, it won't focus. Okay, I had this setup where um, I basically attach it to this part and um, I have the little red uh, cross section piece um, to connect it. And I mean, this part, these two aren't really connected, so if I tried to take it off, I could. But if you can see on the other side, there's some other weird shit, um, other stuff. Uh, that's connecting it. So let's see if you can get a look, good look, even though it's not focusing because it's a really bad camera. Um, and then uh, you know, it just connects to here. And the the good thing is, when you need to connect it to these parts. Oh, for the record, these are just for my hand to hold, but you don't really need it. Um, anyways, the good thing is that this part right here, right, it can connect to these parts by just snapping it on. Well, you're gonna have to apply quite a bit of pressure if it doesn't seem to fit at first. Now, the way I made a spring back, um, I was pretty lucky because I found uh, some Lego piece that I had from a, oh my gosh, a Star Wars set uh, quite a while back. But, uh, let's see, fuck. <sighs> okay, all right. But, you know, you can use a rubber band or just, you just need something so that when this thing is pushed, right, because it's pushed, it springs back. So if you use um, an elastic band, actually, you would have to attach um, this part to somewhere over, let's say, over here, so that once it's pulled back, right, it'll snap back, right? So for me, this is just the opposite. But for the other one, since it's being pulled, you need to attach it to the part where it's going farther away. Um, and then you just make a mirror image on the other side. Um, and then uh, for this part, I used some Lego pieces to hold this in place. And then I put this on. Um, also, uh, for the record, uh, when I did play test it, sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. It wasn't because of the wires, but it's because my phone case has um, a fairly high lip. So because of that, it doesn't. It, it starts to hit the top every time I try. Um, so, anyways, now to uh, talk about the actual wiring. So you're gonna need aluminum foil and best case scenario is you have some form of copper wire so I literally found some trash headphones and or earbuds rather and uh, I stripped the wire at the ends um, and this part I'll show you how I made it because you need a way to keep the aluminum foil on so this part I just wrapped it around over and over and uh, you know the copper once you oh fuck once you strip the copper the copper should be around here and then you wrap the aluminum foil around it um, and then the wire, as you can see, connects right all the way through, and I looped it there to keep it in place. And then this top part is important. Um, so I found a piece like this where it has a place where you can put those black things in. I'm sorry, I'm not a Lego expert. Um, and then you know you can attach it to a two piece, two by one. Um, and then from here you have. Um, I had another aluminum foil piece. I will briefly take all of this apart um, in order to show. Let's see. 
yeah so uh, so this part uh, it's it's basically just a bunch of aluminum foil wrapped around I don't want to take it off right now just because um, well, I worked pretty hard on it you're gonna need a lot of aluminum foil over here and wrapping it around a lot of times uh, because right here it can tear uh, between the two by one and then the wire and then you basically set the wire um, on top of the smooth area and you you wrap it around Okay, by the way, so far, I'm sorry, it's a really bad guide, I've never made one. So, anyways, um, uh, the way I did this was, I had the Lego piece with the smooth side up, then I put, um, I actually put a little piece of paper towel, just, um, I don't even remember why, actually. And then I put, oh yeah, it was to make more of like a pad. And then I put the wire on top, and then I wrapped it with aluminum foil. Now, you have to test this um, before you uh, you know actually put it on the Lego piece that way you get rid of any bad parts uh, that don't work as for this part the way I kept it down was um, I wrapped it around in aluminum foil and then this blue piece here which I can't seem to take out uh, basically I stuck it in so it created a hole but because of that it's also anchoring it in uh, so that way they don't fall out um, so to actually test this um, let's see so you can see my phone. Uh, oh gosh. All right, so I'm grabbing this end, which would be the uh, be the actual part, and then. Ugh, wait. Oh my gosh. You know what? I give up. All right. I'm gonna find a paper towel to wrap this in. Some napkin. Okay, I'm gonna use. A cleaning cloth to show you. Um, all right. All right. So with this, right, I can um, press and I can open up the calendar. Now, uh, if you don't, I mean, I'm not, I'm not touching the aluminum foil, but I can still do what I need to do. Oh gosh, but it's it's gonna knock the phone. Okay, you know what? I'm done. Okay, so <laughs> so there's that part. Uh, let's see. I've gone over the wire part. I've gone over the Lego building it. I know it's a really bad guide. I know I wasted a lot of time here, but I mean, I hope it at least gives you idea because the basic components you need are the wire, right, to actually uh, calibrate it. Oh yeah, side note, you need something with um, a decent amount of surface area. It doesn't have to be huge, like, it doesn't have to be like the, like a coin size, but um, as long as it's not a singular point, so for example, let's say this was made of metal, right, if I used the tip of this, it might not work because it's such a small surface area and phones need a bigger one. So that's why I used a 2 by one piece because um, that's actually big enough. Um, and then you need the spring or something to make it go back so that every time you press it goes back. Um, and then the basic components for the actual uh, lever uh, are something to um, press it down, right? And then this part which pulls it back, right? This section um, is the fulcrum or sorry, I forget what the fulcrum is. Fuck me. Okay. Um, it's the turning point, we'll say, for this part. Um, and of course you need to make sure it's long enough or something to actually hit it. Now this isn't the best model. I haven't worked on it enough uh, to actually find a good way to make it. But it's it's a basic structure that has worked. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that's about it. These parts are really optional. I just put it like this because that way it's more comfortable to hold. I can use my thumbs. Um, I'll be honest, this is not the most ideal way actually playing with a four finger claw. I use my thumb and finger for the movement and then these two for aiming and shooting. That's actually better, I found. Um, but, you know, who knows? Might be better for you. Uh, let's see. Problems you might encounter. So, besides attachments, um, the biggest problem I found was over here, 
uh, whenever I would press, actually this side works fairly well, but for some reason the other side, which I built exactly the same, doesn't work as well. Because what happens is um, when I press this, right, um, it's supposed to be hitting the screen, but once you actually put the phone in, uh, what happens is it can sometimes rub against the lip and like get stuck there, or because it's on a rotary um, black piece, right, um, it can move around because you need the whole piece really touching the phone screen uh, to really work. So I'm not <laughs> spending time to do this because I got other things, but if you need to, you need um, basically you need to find a way to secure it. And you, if you're gonna use a phone case, like if you're not gonna attach it to your phone or something, or actually like glue it on, right? Then you need to um, you need to make sure there's not too much of a lip. That way, it can directly go from here to the touch screen. Uh, let's see. Yeah, make sure the aluminum foil doesn't rip. Because obviously, I mean, aluminum foil isn't that strong. So like I I can rip it pretty easily, which is why you need a, a multiple layers without with making sure you don't oh sorry that with without um impeding the design uh hmm I think that's about it yeah you know put something in the comments if you need help uh this was way too long um don't subscribe and yeah.